For our final module of the year, we spent a week together at a remote lake cabin in Alabama with Jay O'Callaghan studying the craft of storytelling. It turned out to be one of the most amazing weeks of our life and one that I know that all of us will never forget. Our retreat in Alabama was like an archaeological dig for me. It is that we went and we dug up artifacts from our past. And as we dug up artifacts from our past, we began to see things, began to see nuance and detail that we hadn't seen before. Internal things that I've known about and dealt with for years, but to really touch that in, in the context of story and to be able to tell deep, deep, deep personal uh, material using a story and how story becomes such a, a, in a way, a safe vehicle for doing that. So that was a very powerful part of the week for me. There was different things that he used at different times. I appreciate the fact that he wanted us to relax each time, uh, to sort of close our eyes and get quiet and breathe deeply and get relaxed. And then he would place a spark out there, an idea, uh, a, a topic for us to sort of meditatively think on to see what it would unearth within us and then once that came up then to take that and say okay now what do we do with that how do we take that and build a story out of it give you a few minutes to maybe gather some thoughts and then turn and share the story with an individual one-on-one -on -one, and it sort of forms as you tell it and then maybe later share it with the group turn and share it to the group and and after that process perhaps even develop it into a more full-blown story Tom uh, and Jay both had us focusing on uh, just the words we needed. Not all the extra words, just, just the words you need to convey the story. In the process, through his exercises, um, just helping us think about, you know, an old pair of shoes, our favorite pair of shoes, and then building stories around things like that, we really... Um, move below kind of our surface uh, understanding of each other and got to know a, a really full life stories and because of that I think our group really bonded at a, at a different level I mean than than I have ever experienced before I mean it was it was incredible to me Jay was a master at not only is he a master storyteller but he's a master teacher because you don't really know you're being taught and his approach, there were no criticisms. And, and it was hard for some folks to not say, but this would be so good without a little, you know. There was none of that. It was, it, everything was done in the sense of affirming. You know, this is what, we, you know, this, here are three things that were affirming about your story. And, and it, was, it was just like that. And we got so much better during that week with our storytelling. I mean, there was good storytelling to begin with. But it got to a whole different place because there was no criticism anywhere. You know, I think all of these modules that we've had on the storytelling and, you know, working with Tom Key, uh, Tommy Houseworth, Brad Sherrill, have some common points. And, you know, some of that is the way in which uh, attention to detail, um, you know, careful description, you know, being sensitive to the moment, what's happening in the environment, all of those things kind of come together in the moment of a sermon or a story or a worship leading experience. Again, we would like to thank our congregations and the Institute for Clergy Excellence for enabling us to have this incredible experience. It really is a once in a lifetime opportunity and one that we know is going to enhance our ministries and our effectiveness as preachers, teachers, and communicators for the rest of our ministries. As a matter of fact, it already has. And for that, we are truly grateful.